We broadly focus on energy storage and we focus on it with varying technologies and software. So we do shorter duration energy storage using lithium ion. We do long duration energy storage, meaning things that get sort of in the six, eight, 12, even 24 hours. So full day types of storage with a, a unique gravity solution uh, where we uh, lift in lower blocks or we'll um, shift water from different heights. And we also do ultra long duration, meaning multi-day storage using green hydrogen and microgrids. Who are your customers, Rob? Our main customers are uh, first and foremost utilities. So we can sell directly to utilities uh, and we also sell to independent power producers. Uh, so the ones that will, for example, build out solar or wind and pair storage with that and have long-term contracts with utilities. And the third group are the large industrial users. So uh, our investors include people like Saudi Aramco, a BHP, the largest mining group in the world, uh, and groups that are looking to make their own clean energy transition or that have desires to make green hydrogen for example, where you can make that using solar, an electrolyzer, but you need long duration storage. So because our technologies focus across a series of durations, uh, we can actually meet a lot of those needs and hence serving those three market segments. So let's go back to the gravity storage solution thing. So this is from an article here at Bloomberg from a few years ago, but it describes it and I feel like accurately and pretty well. An electric crane hoists up blocks of concrete and stacks them into a tower when power is plentiful. When power is needed, it uses gravity to take the structure apart brick by brick, and the weight of the descending blocks converts kinetic energy into electricity. That sounds really hard and complicated. You know what? Uh, gravity's been around for a while. It's, I tell people it's not uh, an idea, it's a law. So the, <laughs> the whole physics of moving weights up and down has been around, but you're right to do that in a way that's economical. Uh, to do that now with software where we can automate that entire process and dynamically look at the timing and dynamically accelerate and accelerate that lifting and lowering. Um, and also, we actually don't use concrete, so we avoid it because it's not really sustainable. It's one of the contributors, I think, 7 to 8% to greenhouse gases. So we actually have a material science team and work with Semex to use dirt and even waste materials like coal ash um, even concrete debris, other things that would go into in, into landfills, we can utilize that to make these large blocks that are 25 metric tons. So we we try and avoid materials that are not sustainable uh, to make those those very same blocks. So how is, I guess, your business changing to try to meet the changing sources and uses of energy these days? By the way, it's a great question and it is one of the challenges. It's uh, definitely focused globally on countries wanting to achieve energy independence. And to do that, um, you need to be able to produce locally. Hence our gravity solution that's more long duration, of course, is ideal because you can produce most of that um, from local materials, local labor. I mean, it's construction, you're building a building. When you get to the short duration, which is most of the market today, and we know about lithium ion, so that's two to four hours that's this time shifting people trying to manage. You're relying on the rare earth metals, which I, I believe Paul's what you're referring to. And that's where through mechanisms like the IRA that was put in place in the US, they're trying to get that localized. Um, and, and to deal with that, you have to come up with mechanisms to try to bring some of that production local as much as you can in terms of getting content. And that's that's been a, a, a big focus area and of leveraging technologies like hydrogen, for example, green hydrogen, can be made sustainably, we're using that to back up the city of Calistoga in Northern California near Napa uh, to provide a sustainable backup solution for two to four days that otherwise would have taken natural gas. So, so it's a combination of technologies you really have to use to solve this issue uh, of reliance on either um, you know, a few countries in the world or a few rare earth metals.